Hmm. Right. Hare Krishna, all the devotees. My obeisance is to all of you and Anurad Pranam. I invite and welcome you to the early morning short Bhagavatam class from Radha Govinda Temple, Kolai, Bengaluru. And indeed, for and on behalf of His Grace, Sri Ramanista Das Guru Maharaj. <clears throat> Let us begin with the prayers. Madhubai Mataji, I have made you co host today. Is that fine? Okay, Prabhuji. Okay, Prabhuji. Actually, I wanted to join from uh, my laptop. Then you can make me, Prabhuji. I can better. I'm better with the laptop. Okay, fine. I'll do that. Yes, two minutes later, I'll join. Sure. Sure. In the meantime, Chitra Mohini Devidasi, you are our co host. Okay. Okay, Prabhu. Okay. You are still on your mobile as well? Prabhuji, I'm joining now from my WhatsApp, just uh, from uh, my laptop. Just a minute. Okay, no problem. Okay, fine. Let us start with the prayers. Om Magnan Timiranda Shagna Rajana Shalakaya Chakshur Unmilitam Yena Tashway Shri Guru Vena Maha Namao Vishnu Padai Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinamine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravadi Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pasha Tadesha Tarine Shri Chaitanya Manovisham Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Tadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavasya Shri Rupa Sagrajatam Sagaras Ragunathan Vitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Saitam Shri Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Sahagara Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitash He Krishna Karuna Siddho Dina Bandho Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Rushabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vancha Kalpa Tarubya Shakru Pasindu Pyevacha Padita Nama Pava Devyo Vaishnavyo Namo Namaha I request you all to follow me. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Yam Pravrajanta Manupetam Apeta 
पुत्रे तन्मयतयातरवो विनेदु स्तम सर्वूतरदय मुनिमानस्मे यहाुभावखिल श्रुति सारमेक अध्यात्मदीपमतिशता तमोंद संसारिणाम करुणयाव पुराण गुह्यम तम व्यास सुदुपया गुरु मुनीना मधुबई माता जी हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी कैन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू नाउ रिसाइट ऑल द स्लोकास फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस वी विल फॉलो यू यस प्रभु जी विपद सन् हरे कृष्ण ओं नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय विपद सन्तुताश्वत्रगद्गुरो जगद्गुरो दर्शन यदुनर्भव अदृश जन्मश्रुतश्रीबीर्न मद पुमान किंचन गोचर नारायणम नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम नारायण सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर शृण्वता सकता कृष्ण पुण्यश्रवण कीर्तन हृद्यंतस्थि अभद्राणी विधुनोती सुहृत्सता नष्ट प्रायेशु अभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत सेवया भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवति नैष्टिकी थैंक यू प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण थैंक यू महाराज
Right. So this is fifth canto, second uh, chapter, and verse number eleven. We completed yesterday ten verses. Now we go ahead with eleventh verse. Madhubai uh, Mataji, I'll ask you to recite again. Begin with it, please. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Kim Sambrutam Ruchayor Dvijashunga Yoste Madhye Krusho Vahasi Yatra Drushi Shritame Pankorunaha Surabir Atma Vishana Idru Yenashramam Subhagame Surabhi Karoshi. Thank you, Mataji. Shri Nivas Rao Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanavad Pranams. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Kim Sambrutam Ruchi Rayor Vidit Vija Shrunga Yoste Madhye Krusho Vahasi Yatra Drushi Sritame Vajko runa surabiratma vishana yidru yena shramam subaga me surabhi karoshi. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Subara Prabhuji, the Rat Pranam. Prabhuji, the Rat Pranam Prabhuji. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Him some brutam ruchida yor dvijas runga yoste. Madhye Krusho Vahasi Yatra Drushi Sritame Pankho Runa Surabhiratma Vishana Yitru Yena Shremam Subhagami Surabhi Karoshi Hare Krishna Prabhuji Thank you. Chitra Mohini Devi Dasi Ji Hare Krishna Prabhuji Hare Krishna Prabhuji Bhagavati Vasudevaya Kim Sambrutam Ruta Yoro, Vijashunga Yoste, Madhi Krusho, Haisi Yatra Drushi Shitami, Pankurunam Surabhirat Mavishana Hidro, Yenashramam Subagame Surabhikaroshi. Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mother. Ayushi, Ayushi, Mother. Hare Krishna. Thank Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Kim Sambrutam Rutira Dvija Srungaryasta Madhye Kruso Vahasi Yatta Drusi Sritame Pankhyaruna Surabhiratatma Sarvesanam Idru Idru Yenasram Suhagame Surabhikarosi Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Madhaji Sorry we Missed you in between. Okay. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. I was not there, Mataji. Prabhuji. Sorry? I was outside Prabhuji. I did not join. Uh, okay, okay. Fine. Uh, Anjali Mataji? Hare Krishna. Him some Rutam Ruchi Rejo, Vija Shrunga Yo Mate, Mate, Krusha Hava, Hasinga, Rebrishi, Shitami. Panka Arunaha Surabi Atma Vishanaha Itreka Yena Ashamana Subhaga Me Surabi Karoshi Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Thank you. Pushpa Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Kim Sam Prudam Rushira Yor Bhaja Sringas Te Madhi Krishna Bhakasi Yatra Trishi Srita Me Pangoruna Surabir Atma Atma Vishana Yetru Yena Shramam Chubakami Surabitaro Shi. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone left out? Hare Krishna Prabhuji. 
Rachoria, very beautiful. Dia, Dia to Rija. to rejoin. And uh, uh, I, uh, the uh, that is in the in the middle. And uh, the Krish uh, Krishaha thin Vahini, your screen is so small. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, Madhaji. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. seem to be on a mobile. Yeah, okay. I'm in a mobile. From tomorrow, yeah. I'll be It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Relax, Madhaji. No problem. Yeah, thank uh, you. Varav Prabhuji, can you read the synonyms for us? Prabhuji, sure, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Kim, what? Sambhritam, Phil. Ruchi Rayo, very beautiful. Vija, O oh, Brahmana. Ringa yaha within two arms. Te you are Madhye in the middle. Krishaha thin. Vahasi you are carrying. Yatra wherein. Trishti eyes. Shrita attach. Me my. Panka powder. Aruna red. Surabhi fragrant. Atma vishane. On the two horns, Tadruk, the such, Ena, by which, Ashramam, place of residence, Subhanga, oh, most fortunate one, May, my, Surabhi Karoshi, Surabhi Karoshi, you are perfuming. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dandot Pranam. Dandot Pranam Prabhuji, thank you. Translation. Translation by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. <coughs> Agni Dara then praised Purvachitti's raised breast. He said, My dear Brahmana, your waist is very thin, yet with great difficulty you are carefully carrying two horns, to which my eyes have become attracted. What is filling those two beautiful horns? You seem to have sprayed fragrant red powder upon them, powder that is like the rising morning sun. Oh, most fortunate one, I beg to inquire where you have gotten these fragrant powder that is perfuming my ashram, my place of residence. <laughs> Purport. Purport by Srila Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Agni Dara appreciated Purvachitti's raised breast. After seeing the girl's breast, he became almost mad. Nevertheless, he could not recognize whether Purvachitti was a boy or a girl, for as a result of his austerity, he saw no distinction between the two. He therefore addressed her with the word Dvija, O Brahmana. Yet, yet, why should a Dvija, a Brahmana boy, have horns on his chest? 
because the boy's waist is, was very thin, Agridara thought he was carrying the horse with great difficulty and therefore they must be filled with something very valuable. Otherwise, why, why would he carry them? When a woman's waist is thin and her breasts are full, she looks very attractive. Agridhara, his eyes attracted, contemplated the heavy breast on the girl's thin body and, and imagined how her back must sustain them. Agridara imagined that her raised breast were two horns she had covered with clothes so that others would not see the valuables within them. Agridara, however, was very anxious to see, see them. Therefore, he requested, please uncover them so that I can see what you are covering, what you are carrying. Rest assured that I shall not take it away. If you feel an inconvenience in removing the covering, I can help you. I myself can uncover them to see what valuable things those raised horns contain. He was also he was also surprised to see the red dust of perfumed kumkum spread over her breast. Nevertheless, just hold on for a minute. Nevertheless, still considering uh, Purvachitti, a boy, Agnidara addressed her as Subhaga, most fortunate Muni. The boy must have been fortunate. Otherwise, how simply by standing there could he perfume Agnidara's entire ashram? The verse is self-explanatory and more or less is a purport of Srila Prabhupada. Nicely written, well covered with the spiritual aspects mainly <clears throat> to this materialistic world. Purvachitti was walking and Agnidara went got out of his meditation, couldn't recognize whether this one is a boy or a girl. This is simply because he had woken up from austerity to the Lord. This austerity compelled him or made him to show no distinction between the two that is boy and a girl. And that's why he pronounces him or calls him or addresses him or her as a Brahmana boy or a Dvija or twice born. He further thought that the boy who is walking has a very thin waist and because the waist is very thin he is carrying the load on his chest which looks like two heavy objects and since they are lying on his chest they must be containing lots of valuables we all have a tendency that when we have something very valuable we keep it closer to our heart or our chest or to our body. 
It's always on our body. The most valuable things we keep on our body. And that's why he thought that probably a hall like structure that this one is carrying is filled with something most valuable. And thus, he is asking straight away that these two halls, like objects that you are having, is filled up with what valuables? Are there jewels inside? And he keeps on thinking in his mind that these halls are filled with some jewels or the most valuable things. But they are covered from the side of others by cloth so that valuables are protected from the, from the vision of onlookers. And that's why he is requesting a boy or a girl, whosoever she, he or she is, to uncover those halls so that he could see them. He is trying to rest assured that he will not take away the valuables and he would only like, would like to see. If a girl cannot uncover, then he would like to have or he would uncover himself. In between the lines, Srila Prabhupada is telling us and showing us the eagerness of uncovering that does exist in the material world. He further goes on noticing that these halls from the cloth under looks like covered with red dust which has a strong perfume and this strong perfume has virtually spread all along his residence or ashrama that he is at the moment residing in and thus he thinks that this Muni is most fortunate and that's why he calls him Subhaga. Because how otherwise simply by standing in front of him, he could have the perfume spread all along the Agni Tanaz Ashram. Prabhupada has taken the class himself here. Describes it so nicely and so well connected with the spiritual aspect kept all the while in mind. That if you are doing finances or austerity, the bodily concept does disappear. Finding the distinction between a woman and a man is difficult. Because you see each living entity as a soul and not the body that one has. Body is material and since it is material, it is always having sexes and other things which otherwise does not exist in the soul. This is one of the reasons why Srila Prabhupada explained to us once before also that Uttama Adhikari cannot preach or cannot teach very well because he sees everyone as a soul and all the souls have the knowledge of Krishna. They don't need any teaching. Besides that, to teach, you need to come to the Madhyama Adhikari so that some bodily concept remains and then you can teach the science of the God. In the, in the 
duality of either the boy or a girl. Agnidara is thinking a lot about thin waist, the huge burden of the chest, and the burden is certainly valuable because it is, it is number one, kept on the chest, number two, it is covered with a cloth, and so there must be some valuables, and that's how he is asking to uncover and see the valuable things lying inside. Very down-to-earth description. Translation is also quite good. And the purport is excellently written. The most important thing that I like the most about the purport is the last two lines. This, uh, <clears throat> that's where he's saying that he is Subhaga, the most fortunate Buddhi, because the boy must have been fortunate, otherwise how simply by standing there could he perfume Agnidara's entire ashram. Any question, any revelation, any addition, any queries pertaining to this verse, there are so many hands raised. Uh, is it? Uh, yes. Tumara uh, Prabhuji. What is the exact name of this king? Agni? Agni Dara? It's because it's uh, Agni Dhru. Agni, Agni Dhru or uh, Agni Dara or uh, as uh, Prabhuji, if you look at the name that are spelled in, spelled in English, if you look at Yudhishthira, it goes in such a way that the whole thing is not written. So I presume this is Agni Dhara. Dhara means the one who is beholding, and Agni means the fire. The one who beholds the fire is known as Agni Dhara. So, I hope my presumption is right, and that's why I call this Agni Dara. If you have yeah. any other idea, I am open to all suggestions. In previous chapter, it is Agni Dhru. Agni Dhru. Agni Dhru. Agni not Dhra. Agni Dhru is written in earlier chapter. In our uh, Kannada version, it is written as Agni Dhra. Yeah, so it is Agni Dhra or Agni Dara. I mean, Dara is a, uh, you know, those sandhi that you separate them, you make it Dara. You can call it Agni Dra or Agni Dara. They are saying. So let us think it's Agni Dra or Agni Dara. Yes, Agni Dara is a word which is easily pronounced. Agni Dra becomes little difficult. And uh, in our vernacular long language, we all call them Agni Dara. Uh, that's that's how I came to that word. But I either of the words should be fine. If it is Agni Dara, it becomes D-H-A-R-A. If it is Agni Dra, it becomes D-H-R-A. Yeah, that, that's the way the English pronunciations are. But then you look at the spelling of Yudhisthira. You look at spelling of many things. Uh, when they are Sanskrit words converted into English, uh, A- is missing at many places. A and E are missing at many places. Because otherwise the name would be too big. That's what I presume again. I don't have any Sastric evidence. Oh, okay, bro. Because if somebody asks a name, what's his name? Somebody, Tumara Mataji may ask, who should we say? Agni Dhara or Agni Dhru? That was my... Uh, yeah. In fact, uh, I heard Prema Kishori Mataji uh, saying Agni Dhara. Ah, is okay. also long. Agnitra. Chitra Mohini Devi Mataji. Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Tell me Prabhuji. 
Oh, uh, I have but, oh, for, uh, you, uh, yeah, uh, your head is raised. Sorry, Prabhuji. That was raised for the shloka recitation. No, no problem. No problem. Thank you, Mother. Rikshita. Rikshita. So if there are no other questions, queries... And, uh, the second second question is, Prabhuji. Yes, Prabhuji. It is clearly understood that it's in a female form. So where is the confusion of male and female is getting because of his status of spirituality or is it just like with uh, indecisiveness? Because in the introduction, it is uh, introduced as a female only. Uh, yes, you are right. But introduction to various people. You see, she, Purva Chitti, has been introduced to us as a woman. She has been introduced to the people who are reading the book, is Purva Chitti, uh, with a name. But she has not yet been introduced to Agnidara, who has just woken up from his meditation. And he is looking at her, and by looking at her, he is still in what we call duality, whether he is a boy or a girl. He is trying to understand, but in the meantime, he is still telling that person a boy, a Brahmana boy. So he is still confused. He is not sure who she is. Uh, and uh, that's why uh, the the dvida that they, he has has been kept intact here and explained as because he has just woken up from his austerity, austerity and this austerity is uh, compelling him to find no distinction between the boy and the girl. Does that make some sense, Prabhuji? Oh, yes, Prabhuji. That's what I, I think with the influence of his spiritual status, yeah. Which is not making him to distinguish between a boy and girl, though for yeah. us it is introduced as Apsarasa came with her beautiful features and uh, uh, expressions and uh, yeah. thinking, tinkling of the that uh, all the sounds and all that. Yeah, and In the fact, beautiful eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Carry on, carry on, probably. Okay. Yeah, in fact, in fact, if you really look at it, <coughs> all the descriptions that are given in translation can virtually be taken as material descriptions and uh, can be uh, interpreted as uh, asking to uncover, etc. in a material sense. But Sri Prabhupada... <coughs> He is actually trying to train our eyes and minds so that we understand that there is another aspect which also appears a very relevant aspect of trying to tell some lady to uncover, etc. Thinking that these are the two halls and they are filled with some valuables because they are sitting on the lady's chest or a person's chest and he would like to see them, what valuables it is covered with. So it's, it's kind of a spiritual training that we are getting, if I would call it, uh, that there is another way of looking at things around us. I hope that makes some sense, Prabhuji. Uh, yes, Prabhuji, your explanation is quite good. Thank you. Madhubai Mataji, please go ahead. Do you have some addition to make? Please yeah, Hare Krishna on. Prabhuji, he is, uh, you know, uh, changing his, uh, no, every time he is changing, addressing him. In uh, First, he addressed him as, uh, you know, the great sage. Then uh, he addressed, the, next he addressed uh, as a dear friend. Then he addressed him as God. Then yeah. again he addressing him as Brahmana. So, yeah. in the meantime, he has got a, a, a lustful eyes on her. You know, it's written that he has got lustful eye. So, every time he is changing, addressing him. You know, this is very astonishing like. That's uh, what I, I, I don't know, but I might be putting my foot in the wrong direction. That's why I'm trying to be very careful today. Uh, 
Uh, these are the various ways that in material life also man addresses a woman. But uh, <clears throat> I'm still just going on with the verses. Let's see how further it unfolds. <clears throat> because that's the only way to know uh, the back background. But you are right. The addresses are so many, so many different addresses. Means he is confused? Uh, by his illusion or he is... It is said in English that man is the most powerful person on earth until a woman comes. So that says everything in just one, one sentence. It says man is the most, power, most powerful person until a woman enters. So literally he must be confused. And this confusion uh, is going on board. Uh, and that's why he is uh, still thinking about the identity of a person. And that's why various identities are explained as the uh, announcement of the person in the form of an announcement of a person. <coughs> Hare Krishna Bhagavad. Hare Krishna. Largely he calls her Subhaga. Most yeah, that's it. So he calls him that most fortunate Muni because he's just standing there and uh, uh, spreading the fragrance all along the ashram. Thank it's you. worthwhile noting and let's see what happens in future. Thank you, Prabhupada. Thank you, Mataji, for that wonderful revelation and uh, going back and telling us that uh, various addresses that he made to uh, Purvachitti. If there are no further questions, uh, no revelation, no addition or queries, Thank you very much, all of you, for your wonderful association and for attending the class. Uh, if possible, all of you, it will be request you to join the Japa Yagna that is going on because Srila Jayapataka Swami is not well at all. He is uh, losing his consciousness time and again. And just taking prasadam itself is uh, making him sleepy immediately. So his health is uh, not well at all. And that's why we all are doing extra japa for him. Hare Krishna to everyone. Vajja Kalpa Tarumeshya Vajja Krishna Samtha Udibya Vajna Vibya Namuno Hare Koti Vishna Hoki Jai Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Thank you very much Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna